this fast-paced and competitive era, we are often encouraged to keep moving forward, to pursue higher goals. Society seems to have a fixed template for success, constantly climbing, never stopping. However, sometimes true courage and wisdom may not lie in blindly charging forward, but in the timely pause and retreat. Many people have experienced the competition and pursuit of life, feeling the pressure to advance. But the concept of taking a step back to see the vast ocean and sky challenges our traditional view of success. It reminds us that retreating does not always mean failure. Instead, it can be a deeper insight, a manifestation of wisdom. When facing challenges and conflicts, if we can give ourselves a little space and time to think, we might find more suitable solutions, seeing problems from different perspectives. Retreating gives us the chance to reassess the situation, adjust our strategies, and face challenges with a more mature attitude. It is not about escaping, but a deep insight into our situation and preparing for the future. By giving ourselves and others more space, the possibilities of life also expand. Interestingly, such retreat often leads to unexpected progress and achievements, a liberation of the spirit, freeing us from the shackles of the past to embrace new challenges. Retreating does not mean giving up, but adjusting strategies, a manifestation of life's wisdom. It teaches us that sometimes the best way forward is to stop or even take a step back. This is not just a physical action, but a spiritual awakening. By learning to retreat, we learn how to maintain peace and wisdom at every stage of life, facing life's challenges more calmly and confidently, rethinking the meaning of retreat, seeing it as a choice, a wise choice, in this process, we not only discover a new self, but also the infinite possibilities and new directions of life. Retreat gives us the chance to reflect, allowing us to see our inner self and future path more clearly. It's like finding a stationary stone in the fast flowing river, standing for a moment, finding direction again. When we withdraw from the hustle and bustle of life, we find that what truly matters is not external achievements, but inner peace and satisfaction. This retreat is an inward journey, a deep exploration of self. We might also discover that the truly precious moments in life are those that seem ordinary but are full of meaning. Therefore, retreating is not just a strategic choice, but a lifestyle. This power comes from a deep understanding of ourselves and a profound feeling towards life. It allows us to face choices more calmly and make decisions more wisely. Therefore, let's learn to appreciate the beauty of retreating, using this strategy flexibly in life to continue moving forward in a more enriched and colorful way. Retreat is not the end, but another form of departure. It's not about giving up, but preparing for a better advance. Imagine if we could all choose to retreat timely when facing challenges and conflicts. How would our lives change? There might be fewer disputes and displeasures because retreat and concession not only avoid unnecessary conflicts, but also bring a more peaceful mindset and smoother interpersonal relationships. This is what is meant by taking a loss is a blessing, not encouraging us to become passive victims, but teaching us to let go of ego, making room for others when possible. This behavior is actually a pursuit of higher values, allowing us to choose more wisely in the face of conflict and challenge, undisturbed by the turmoil of the outside world. In this rapidly changing era, learning and practicing the wisdom and tolerance of retreating 
is the most needed art of living. It's not just a physical action, but a spiritual awakening. By choosing to retreat at the right time, we are actually creating more space and possibilities for ourselves and others. This wisdom and tolerance can help us find inner peace and balance in a tumultuous world, making life a beautiful journey filled with wisdom and tolerance.